The Nuts, Bedtime at the Nut House. And this is written by Eric Litwin, who also wrote Pete the Cat. And we're going to listen to him tell the story. The Nuts, Bedtime at the Nut House. <laughs> it was time for bed. The day was done. But Hazel and Wally were still up having... And they sang together! We're nuts! We're nuts! We're nuts! We're nuts! So big mama nut in her mama voice said, All little nuts need to go up to bed. Sweet Hazel Nut would not go to her room. She wiggled and giggled. She howled at the moon. Oh! Then Hazel and Wally kept singing their tune. Here we go. We're nuts. We're nuts. We're nuts. We're nuts. The big mama nut in her big voice said, All little nuts need to go up to bed. Wally nuts danced like a baby baboon. We kept singing there too. We're nuts, we're nuts, we're nuts, we're nuts. So big mama nut in her bigger voice said, All little nuts need to go up to bed. Did Hazel stop singing? Did Wally stop playing? They had not heard a word that their mama was saying. They bounced up and down like two happy balloons. They wiggled and giggled. They howled at the moon. And Wally kept singing there too. Here we go. We're nuts. We're nuts. We're nuts. We're nuts. So big mama nut in her big not budge. <laughs> Mama gave them the walk. She put her foot down. Her long fingers shook. She marched them to bed. She tucked them in tight. And just before Mama Nut turned off the light, Hazel asked, Are we still your sweet little nuts? So Big Mama Nut said, no matter what, you will always be my sweet little nuts. And that nutty family sang together. We're nuts, we're nuts, we're nuts, we're nuts. And all was calm and nutty and right. So Mama Nut turned off the light. Good night, little nuts. Good night. Good night.